Because today we're taking a look at some buds. Not any buds, but the OnePlus buds. We're taking a look at them in white and the Nord Blue colour. But before we open these up, do me a quick favour, subscribe to the channel below, hit the like button, leave a comment, say hello, because it does make sure my uh, my videos get pushed out to more people and get seen by more people. So that would greatly appreciate that. Um, let's get started and open them up. From the outside, uh, the only thing I've noticed different, I mean, you've got the classic red and white OnePlus color combination. Um, the white buds, for some reason, only have on the side, it says rich textured sound quality and 10 minutes of charge for, for hours of play. And they've got that on both sides. However, the blue ones, they don't say that. They say easy to use, sound quality, environmental noise cancellation, 30 hours endurance with warp charge. I wonder why they were released the same time. So I wonder why these have different text to the white ones. Did one come before the other? Obviously, but um, well, did something change in the production line for them to change the marketing? Or maybe they just forgot to add it on, who knows? Right, so I've already unwrapped them both. So if we open up the, well, let's just open up them both at the same time. It's gonna be a slow one. Get in there. Six and a half hours later. Right, so there we go, white ones and blue ones. This is a very nice blue. I think this is, they've done all this like Nord blue color combination to match with the, um, with the release of the, with the Nord phone. It's much, they are much smaller than I, ex I expected them to be, if I'm completely honest. When we're looking at it like that, I thought it was going to be bigger. I mean, the fact that it's smaller is good. You've got minimal design by OnePlus on the back. Got a little button, hinge, little magnetic. Oh, that is actually very, that's a very nice mechanism. It's got a strong magnet on there as well. It's very satisfying to do that. I wonder if it's the same on the white ones. That's interesting. It might just be my mind playing tricks on me, but I feel like the blue ones... are a bit better at opening and closing, but I think it's just my mind playing with... That's fine. Right, so as you can see, as soon as I turn, as soon as I open them up, it seems like they've both got battery life in them. They've got the green light that comes up. So I've got my OnePlus Nord here with the blue sandstone case. Um, I've just done a video reviewing or unboxing this case and uh, taking a look at it. So if you want to check that out, go back on the uh, channel and have a look. After you've watched this video, of course. So apparently, with uh, OnePlus 6 and above, if you open up the case, you should get, this is apparently only on OnePlus phones, you should get a notification come up to pair the device. So we've got a blue flashing light now. Here we go. OnePlus Buds, tap to pair. So it's connecting. So this is real time, you're gonna see how, uh, how quick it connects. Still connecting. Still connecting. Hopefully it doesn't take this long to connect every time. I think this is just the first time round. It uh, takes a bit longer. Unable to connect. 12 seconds later. Well, that was a bit uneventful. Let's try again. So we've got the flashing light. Tap to pair, connecting. Two hours later. Open. Connected. So I don't know what happened the first time. It might have been that I just took a bit longer to press connect. 
Okay, so they are connected. Now we've got two buds in one case. Double click on left earbud, double click on right earbud. And this is all the HD audio, phone calls, media audio, contact sharing, auto update firmware, allow automatic updates using mobile data. So as far as I'm aware, you can only change this stuff if you have a, if you've got a OnePlus device. So what I'm going to put, I'm going to put a double click on left earbud to do an extract, double click on right earbud to play and pause. Now let's give them a go. They look actually pretty nice. They do remind me a lot. I mean, if we disregard this bit here, uh, they remind me a lot of the Apple AirPods. But we'll see if they see if they they like the Apple AirPods when we put them in. The one thing I've I've never been a fan of is um, the plastic design like this, like the Huawei ones and the Apple ones. The the earphones I'm using at the moment are the AirPod Pros because they've got the soft uh, soft tip. Um, but let's see how these are anyway. They might be different. So I'm going to pop them into my ear. Surprisingly good fit. No noise cancellation as far as I'm aware. Um, volume. Let's do halfway. Let's put on the song list a bit. It's got a bit of bass to it. So I'm going to put in a bit of Dizzy Rascal. Obviously you won't be able to hear this, but I'm going to be, play this a bit, see how it sounds. So bear with me a bit. Okay, so one thing I've noticed, I've put it to max volume, and uh, it's it's not very loud. I mean, I'm in a completely quiet room, and for me, it's not it's not overly loud. But I don't know if there's something that can be updated later on if they can unlock some more of the volume, or it might even be the song. Let's try a different song. Um, might just be the song. Let's just go to actually let's put a bit of Joyner Lucas on. Actually let's put a machine gun Kelly. They're still not very loud. It's alright in this room because the room's quiet. Okay, this one's a bit louder. So if I take one of the earbuds out, it pauses the music very quickly and did. That's actually. And if I put it back in. It plays, if I take it out, it pauses. That's very good, that's very good. So the actual, the double tap feature only works if it's in your ear. They don't, doesn't work if it's not in your ear. See, if, if I'm out and about, and I've got these in my ear, um, I don't know how they would sound, because then you have a lot of background noise and stuff like that. So will it block out noise? I'm not sure. Um, but in this room, depending on the sound, like on the song you load up, it can be, a, it, I, would, I wouldn't say any of the songs have been, in my opinion, loud, like how I would get the type of uh, volume I would get from my earpods. But they're not quiet by any means. They've got, they've got decent bass, nothing spectacular, but that's not what I expected anyway. It might just be that 
because of their this type of earbuds, um, the seal or it, that they create in my ear is not good enough. So there's a lot of sound escaping because obviously the, the better the seal in the ear, the more sound you're going to get. So the louder it's going to sound. Let's have a look. I've got to say the sound quality though is very good. Can't fault it. Surprisingly good. Yeah, let's uh, put them down. They're actually very good. I'm actually very surprised by these. Um, they're quite lightweight as well, so when I do put them in my ear, after a bit I can't feel them in there. Surprisingly, because even though they're the plastic type of uh, buds, they're not uncomfortable. They're actually quite comfortable. Yeah, I'd say they're very good. For £80, they're a much better alternative to the Apple AirPods. And I'd say I'd say try them out. They've, they've surprised me a lot. Fast connection. Let's see if I put them back. How long it takes for them to... So they've, they're not connected. And then they're connected. That's that's very fast connection. Can't I can't notice any delay either. And apparently, if you charge them with the warp charge uh, charger, ten minutes gets you. I think it's ten hours. So, and they feel really good, like well made. I thought they were going to be more like uh, feel more like toys, but they are very well made. And this is how the white ones look. I think actually for me, I think I like the white ones more than the blue ones. I think the blue ones are just a bit too a bit too much for me. But the white ones are nice. They also come in a grey colour. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hopefully giving you some insight into what these are like. Um, drop a like on the video down below. Leave a comment. Say hello. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. So see you later.